Everything was done according to the blueprints. We've sprayed on some paint, it's all looking good. Now we'll let's install them and see where this goes. Come on now, there we go. Hey there, fellows. So why saw a picture on the internet recently, right? And from the looks of it, that was all done for the purpose of increasing that vehicle's off-road ability. We've got a car, so let's grab us a set of wheels, some springs, wrap the ladder around the former, and see what that does for off-road capability. We use springs as tires, will it work? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. And so this is what we end up with. We've got two rows of springs on this, because a car is quite a bit heavier than a bike, meaning you can do with increased surface area. Now there is a certain element that is currently missing. On that picture you might have noticed that the spring had a metal strip wrapped around it. The reason they did that could have been in an attempt to increase the contact patch, but another possibility is that it's safety related because if the welds happen to break, the spring is going to want to straighten out, and that belt is there to prevent any excessive damage happening as a result. Also, it'll serve as reinforcement, preventing the springs from breaking off the wheel to begin with, so all that's left would be to weld those strips on, and the wheels will be ready for use. Let's get to it. And here we have our lovely wheels. Everything was done according to the blueprints. I mean to say, just like on that picture I showed you. We've got two rows of springs, those strips. We've sprayed on some paint, it's all looking good. The car is ready for the tests, I mean. The car and the wheels are prepared. So let's throw these on and drive around to see what happens. We've got plenty of snow, ice, mud. These are difficult conditions for driving. Okay, install them and see where this goes. And so they're on there, and look here, they're not losing any air, everything's on tight. These all do great on our roads. Okay, let's try them out. Okay, we are ready to go. Let's give this a try. I am super curious as to what's gonna happen. Slowly setting off. <laughs> right away things have gotten weird. It just went sideways for some reason. For real though? Isn't that something? Doesn't want to move. Oh. 
That is a lot of noise, but the thing doesn't want to move. I think I might even know why. Yeah, it is struggling to find grip on the ice. What gives? Okay, we seem to be getting somewhere. Even with this big of a car, you can definitely feel the stiffness. This is really stiff. I think we'll be better off on a softer surface. The wheels are slipping, but we're moving. Moving along. And right about here is where I expect things to get sketchy. Because here the snow is really soft. Yeah. We're done. There we go, come on. Didn't last long, didn't get far. So here's the situation, this was to be expected. But with how heavy this rig is, we're sinking. The wheels are crushing the snow in the ice. It drives, it just doesn't go far. Nope. This ain't working. Okay, so this is rather interesting. These do have some grip. But for the most part, we are lacking. You got a bunch of snow packed in there, it snagged some twigs along the way. And when the car is on this type of icy surface, we've got wheel spin. You would have seen earlier how we weren't making much progress, then we were having trouble in the soft stuff. These are just down on grip. And my feeling is that these strips of metal don't belong here. I mean, they're fairly slender, but they won't allow the coils to really dig into the surface. But with this being an experiment, here's what we should do. Let's go ahead and take these two metal strips that we welded on for the sake of safety, that are there to prevent damage to the car if something were to happen. The springs seem to be holding up just fine anyway, yeah, let's cut them right off and make it so that the springs are able to properly dig in with their coils. Okay, then let's hack them off and see what comes out of it. Let's get to it. So check this out, guys, we've cut the strips off, leaving just bits of them on the springs. And so we've removed one obstacle that will get in the way of the wheel gripping. Everything seems to be in order, let's go try them out. Okay, here we go. And immediately it even set off on ice. But they were making a ton of noise just now going over the concrete. Let's see. How will they behave through here? How do I control it, though? Come on now, let's go. You can do it. You've got this, come on. Didn't get far. Okay, if it refuses to go forward, let's back up then. Now looking into the mirror, I can see the wheels picking up chunks of snow and ice. It even steers. Let's try the same thing, but with a bit more speed. 
It is really jumping around over the imperfections in the surface. So here's something interesting that I've noticed. You might recall how we made a tall set of wheels to improve the off-road abilities of a new Oz. Those were really narrow, and the car would cut through the snow down to the hard surface. And so here we have something very similar. The wheels, they crush anything that's soft, and find their grip once they get to something that's nice and hard. In any case, the car is able to drive. And what's interesting is that without those metal strips that we welded on to prevent any damage of the springs were to break away from the wheels, this drives way better. You can see the imprints from the coils, so they really dig in. Though until they get to something that's hard, the car doesn't really move. Okay, let's go carry on chopping whatever ice is still left. Are they even breaking it? Because I can't really tell. I don't know. Those noises, man. I'd better shut the door so that I don't hear them. It's actually pretty unnerving. I think they actually are, yep. You can see that they're crushing the ice. There are some pretty big pieces breaking off, actually. Not bad, the car is struggling a bit. With all of these remnants of winter, but the wheels are great. They are very much suited to this sort of thing. Look at us go! So here's what's up, guys. These wheels seem to be fairly useless off-road. However, they're great for if you want to chop some ice. So get yourself a G-Wagon, make a set of wheels like these, chop some ice, and that's all I got for you. Catch you later.